Can you beat Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 if you have to carry Huggy Wuggy with you? So we all know Huggy Wuggy kind of took a tumble at the end of Chapter 1, and we can see his fur all over the place way down the basement of the factory. Well, unfortunately, he broke every bone in his stuffed body. But you know what? I mean, Huggy Wuggy didn't mean to attack us, right? It was surely a mistake. So we're going to give him a second chance, and our goal is to be Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 while dragging his broken, stuffed body through the entire game. I hope you enjoy this absurd challenge, and let's hope I don't lose my sanity by the end of it. So, Huggy Wuggy can no longer stand. He simply collapses to the ground and smiles at us creepily. Luckily, with our grab pack, we can grab onto him and pull him to our location. But, um, there's going to be some interesting challenges we will have to overcome. From Mommy Long Legs trying to kill us, to Giant Cliffs, to PJ Pugapillar's absurd room. Oh dear, this is going to be interesting. And so, our Lug Hug Wug challenge begins. Poppy's case is open, and our blue fuzzy friend fell out instead. The sinister red lighting on him is really eerie. And so, I began high-fiving Huggy's forehead and dragging him to the door. I totally thought he was going to get stuck, but then he started flopping through the hallway and I couldn't help but laugh. Uh, Huggy, you okay man? That pose doesn't look very natural. Luckily, Huggy Wuggy doesn't complain much, so he doesn't mind being dragged through the pit. Or smashing into ladders. We grab the key and drag our broken friend into Ludwig's office. Or at least attempt to, because this huge boy won't fit through Ludwig's door. Why, oh why, is this happening? Huggy, just come through the dang door! Please! <clears throat> okay, so a lot of time has passed, but I got him through the door. Getting him through the vents isn't a problem since it's familiar territory for Huggy Wuggy. While doing the power puzzle, Huggy Wuggy T-poses on the floor to assert his dominance as I finish up the task. We then drag the pack of bones back into Ludwig's office and approach the next challenge, the giant pit. I swing across with ease, but I'm worried my boy in blue is going to fall down the cliff and get stuck. We manage to pull through though, and I'm proud of Huggy Wuggy. Poppy jumps down the pit after she sees my terrifying friend, and I use Huggy Wuggy as a surfboard down the giant slide. Huggy shoots out of the slide like a cannon, and we continue on our quest. With the electricity puzzle down, Huggy Wuggy gets to watch me get my hand ripped off by Mommy. I think Huggy shed a tear? Grab and pull, grab and pull, and we make it to the game station's first switch. Huggy starts swimming on the ground in defiance, and I have so many questions. Onward to musical memory. I pull Huggy through some dark hallways, and he helps me make another green hand. He's truly a team player, except when it comes to stairs. Huggy Wuggy is not fun to climb stairs with. Huggy tries to help me hit the buttons, but his noodle arms are useless, so I just make the hand myself. We go through some vents and come face to face with Bunzo Bunny. And by we, I mean me. Huggy got stuck in the bridge and he wouldn't come into musical memory no matter what I tried. The invisible wall was making him flail around like a madman, but he couldn't stand on the platform. As I progressed in musical memory, I kept turning around and trying to pull Huggy Wuggy up, but he had stage fright. I blow through the challenge, get myself the code, and then Huggy joins me again as the bridge raises. But now, the true challenge begins. Trying to fit Huggy Wuggy through small vents that require crouching. And oh my gosh, it's awful. Don't let the smiling face fool you. Trying to get Huggy Wuggy around corners in vents is infuriating. He's too much of a big boy to come around the corners. Eventually I get him after he flops around like a fish out of water, but I am definitely not looking forward to future vent areas. Just look at this, what is going on? Into the toy reject room we go, and truthfully, it isn't too bad. We pass it and make our way through the next electrical puzzle. We move a very inconveniently placed chair, and Huggy casually goes to the door. I drag the big blue lad into Wacka Wuggy and place him in the center of the arena, giving him the perfect vantage point as I smash the faces of his entire family. Huggy Wuggy has the ultimate poker face though, and couldn't care less. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Wacka Wuggy comes and goes, and now I need to airlift Huggy Wuggy up a giant staircase. I, uh, accidentally drop him a few times though? The darn edges of the staircase kept screwing up my grab pack. I get him up top and we are both dangling and he plummets to his death again. I find a nearby pillow and scream into it as my eyes pop out. Eventually, the dynamic duo makes it up top, but Huggy will never be the same. He's a broken mess and won't stop dancing. Huggy threw himself back down the staircase hole in defiance. Come on Huggy, it's time to go. Don't you dare, no! Ugh! After saving Huggy from the pit, we now drag him through Barry's domain. 
Upon seeing how pathetic Huggy Wuggy looks on the ground, Kissy Mizzy decides to help us out of pity. It's honestly really funny looking at this setup. Kissy is just like, what the heck is that? And then pulls the lever. Trying to move Barry and Huggy at the same time is uh, a bit broken. It's also really challenging. But I eventually get Huggy on top of Barry and realize Huggy's weight was preventing him from moving. We can just trample Huggy's body though. Although Huggy does look really snazzy posing on that cart. Draw me like one of your French girls. After some electrical puzzles, Barry breaks us free and we travel onward. The statue area is up next with PJ Pugapiller. And getting there isn't a problem, but trying to beat PJ's room absolutely is. Getting through the starting area is tough enough due to how narrow the passages are. But the real issue is PJ's death mechanics. So I'm thinking the game developers put out some kind of patch because not only was PJ killing me way easier, but anytime I'd use my hand when the room was lit up, I'd instantly get jump scared. Was this how it always was? If so, my original playthrough may have been glitched, but this new roadblock made the section super hard. If PJ reaches you in distance at any point, you of course die. So the only way to do this room while moving with Huggy was to skip PJ in the first passage corner. It made doing all these attempts a really long process, but by hanging back in the first bend, PJ would skip you and you could race through the room again before he spawned behind you. The reason why this needed to be done was because getting Huggy Wuggy through the red slide section is almost impossible before PJ kills you. Huggy just won't go into the slide. So we actually need to drag Huggy over to a slide, jump on top of him, and jump over the slides. We then need to pull Huggy up and over. This is a huge time save and lets us dodge an impossible situation. This room is an absolute nightmare though. It's definitely the hardest part of the run so far, and it only gets worse when we get to the window. After countless deaths, I finally had made it. Victory was in my grasp. I latched onto Huggy Wuggy, swung into the window, and Huggy got stuck. Somehow my grab pack cable got lodged on a piece of glass and changed Huggy's pull path. So he went straight under a pipe and over the cliff. I couldn't get him dislodged from the pipe, and so I swung out over top of him, but for some reason my grab pack automatically dislodged, and we both died. The second time I did this, uh, as soon as I broke the window, the entire screen of course went black and the game soft locked. Yay! The third time I was terrified because PJ was so close to getting me. Both Huggy and I managed to make it up, but Huggy starts swimming in midair and won't come through the window. I'm afraid he's going to drop down the cliff. I'm trying everything I can think of to dislodge him from the window, and he eventually shoots off towards me like a rocket once I let go of one of my hands. I then jump up and down in excitement. This dumb room is over. Into the tunnels we go, and across a giant, dangerous, oh please don't drop Huggy pit of despair. We have a few tunnel sections to go through with our fuzzy friend, and we ultimately arrive at the water treatment area. Um, full disclosure, but I accidentally gave Huggy a bath a few times here. Huggy Wuggy became Soggy Wuggy. The Bonds of Room plays out about the same, only Huggy Wuggy is having flashbacks to falling into here, so I quickly grab the toy and get out. We then make our way through the door and into some small vents. Oh joy! Did I mention I love vents? We have another electrical puzzle to solve with a blue pal, but it isn't too difficult. We quickly clear it, drag Huggy into the vents again, and fall down to Mommy Longlegs. I can tell the Huggy Wuggy is terrified as he sits collapsed in the corner. The doors open, and Huggy and I run for our lives. I thought I was going to get jump scared on the stairs, but we got far enough away to avoid that. There actually isn't a threat to this part, so it's just a lot of dragging Huggy through a dirty underground factory. I feel bad because I just gave him a bath too. Huggy had one too many cookies and won't come down the chimney easily, but eventually he slithers down. Of course, we come across another vent while traveling through the conveyor belt, and Huggy is being stubborn. He dislodges and falls painfully to the floor as we move on. The four killer switch room gives us no trouble, and we move Huggy into the hallway. But then, Mommy Longlegs appeared. I flee in terror and accidentally drop Huggy Wuggy, and Mommy Longlegs completely tramples him. I'm sorry, little buddy. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Dragging Huggy's trampled body into the furnace room, we then proceed to grab the gear we need. Mommy Longlegs begins to chase us again, but this time I don't leave Huggy behind. We hide in the furnace for safety. But now we finally reached it, the worst part of this challenge. So I'm no dummy wummy. I grab the lever and Huggy Wuggy and get as far away from Mommy Longlegs as possible before actually pulling it. But as I'm running, I do make one grave mistake. The gray door closes behind me and leaves Huggy behind. I scream in agony. And I realize just how difficult this is going to be as Huggy continually gets shut out behind me. I basically need to push Huggy through the door, or at least start to before it shuts. We can unload Mommy Longlegs by stepping halfway through the door, and this gives us more time. 
Huggy is stubborn, but we can eventually get him through. For some reason, Huggy just flops around like a fish when we drop him down below. I know this is going to make this next section really unpredictable, and I can already feel the stress. I realize that getting Huggy through the sewers while Mommy Longlegs is chasing me is an impossible task, since I keep dying over and over. So my 10,000 IQ brain knows to abandon Huggy Wuggy in the sewer area and grapple up the ceiling and run for Mommy. I then use the same grapple to throw myself down the cliff and out of Mommy's kill range. After she is gone, I rock myself back and forth, pull myself up, and go back through the sewers. The threat is gone, and Huggy Wuggy is there waiting for me. And he's still dancing around like a madman. I begin dragging Huggy through the sewers, which is a slow process. We then go up the grapple and position ourselves next to the giant pit. Huggy almost fell down the pit, but I managed to save him. I swing across and pull him over as well. And now, the moment of truth. Huggy is going to help me defeat Mommy Longlegs. We make our way into the room and pull the lever, as Mommy Longlegs is destroyed running from Huggy Wuggy. Home stretch! We both run through Bay 9's metal staircases hand in hand, very, very slowly, and make our way to the game station. Huggy Wuggy has a phobia of slides though, and, um, he's having problems? We then make our way to the train and open it up. And success. The train starts moving, and Huggy Wuggy cannot contain his excitement as he squirms against the back of the train. The train speeds up, Huggy Wuggy flops around, and we pull the brakes. And with that, both Huggy Wuggy and I crash as he falls on top of me. We did it. We beat Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 while dragging Huggy Wuggy with us the entire time. I hope you enjoyed this strange challenge. Subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you all soon on Horoscoped. Cheers!